Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my Sephora haul sale. I waited till all my orders were in because am I the only one or is everybody doing that? You put in your main order and throughout the days you keep purchasing more and more and you're like, that's a good deal, I'll get that. So I ended up with two big bags from Sephora right here. Look at these, they're packed full and I have, um, made, I think just one more order coming in and I'll just tell you about that because it's just one product. So if you guys are interested, please continue watching. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. It would help me out so much. All right, I'm just gonna pull stuff from the bag. Uh, this sale, I got stuff that I really wanted, but not necessarily for reviewing on YouTube. So the beauty with doing YouTube is that I can justify purchasing palettes or things like that that are new that I want to review, but I can't really justify buying things that I don't really want to review. They're just more for me. So whenever the sale comes around, I just purchase things that I have really been wanting to try. So the first thing I pulled out is this thing. This is from Dyson. I have the Dyson Air Wrap, which I bought um last year i think a year ago and it has literally been so amazing i use it every time i do my hair even if i don't use the curling thing which i have used today uh just to straighten my hair to blow dry my hair uh, the only time i don't use it is when i actually diffuse my hair and wear it like curly natural curly that's the only time i don't use it every other time uh, I use it. I use it on my kids. It's just amazing. So I bought the big barrel. I have the long barrel in one fourth and I think this is the one inch one. I think so. So this is how it looks like and I did use it last night and it, it just it was so much faster just having this big one. Um, I like the bounce that it gives. I like like the volume and I just think it's really nice. And it's been out of stock for forever. So I've been just really wanting to pick this one up. So I'm, I'm excited I have that. So let's start with skincare. Um, I kind of ran out of a lot of my skincare and I was waiting for the sale to repurchase a few things. So the first thing I purchased is this Suwasu. I may not say that right, but uh, this is their serum. And this thing is amazing. Uh, one of you guys suggested last sale I purchased um, a smaller kit and I tried it. And I've been wanting to purchase it since I ran out of that one, but I was just, I was good. I waited for the sale because this is pricey. And this, I would say it not only brightens your skin, but it tightens, it's firming. Um, every time I use this, it, I, I saw an immediate transformation in my skin. And I purchased just the biggest option that they had. Uh, I know this is 60 ml. I know... At one point they had an even bigger one, but I, I didn't see a bigger one on Sephora. So this is the packaging and I haven't tried it yet. Like this, this is the first time I'm opening it. And this is like double the size than what I had. And what I had, I want to say lasted probably four months and I used it day and night. Just one pump all over the skin, used it day and night and I'm so happy to have this back. So I really wanted to try the Youth to the People skincare. Um, I have this one from them. This is the activated mist and I really like it. I'm almost out of it. Um, it's almost like a serum as a mist and it's moisturizing. It's just amazing. Um, but I haven't tried much of anything else from them. So I found this kit so bright this is the dreamer and this has their hydrate and glow dream mask that I, this is the one i was interested in the mask um and you just pay like a few bucks more and you get the rest you get the super berry dream eye cream super berry hydrate glow oil so the mask is full size the eye cream is 5 ml and the oil is 8 ml but i did opened this up and used it and that cream is 
thick and I love it. Mostly now for um, winter, your, your skin gets to be pretty dry, at least mine. I love this so much. I love the eye cream. This cream is just amazing. I wake up with my skin so smooth. I tend to use it mainly at night because I still have a day cream that I want to oh, like use up. But the second that that one's done, I think I'm going to probably use this in the morning as well, mostly with winter coming. Um, so yeah, this was a great kit and so far I'm loving it. And then I purchased two more things from Youth to the People. This is uh, the Superfood Unity Exfoliant. This is 3% AHA and 2% BHA and 1% PHA. And it's just a toner. Uh, this is how it looks like. I used it a few times. I just put it back for you guys. Um, and it's in this green bottle. It is very drying in a way. Like when I put it on, I feel like, okay, it really exfoliated. It really worked. And my face feels a little dry after, but I have that cream to put on top of that. So I'm golden. But um, so far, it seems fine. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I've literally only used it three times. But it cleans the skin. So whenever I am done removing all my makeup, I put this on and you can see that it literally removed more makeup, even though I did a double cleanse. So, so far I really like it. I got one more thing from you to the people and that is the re resurfacing energy facial. This is like um, exfoliating treatment. I, I think I was expecting this to not be a physical exfoliant, but it is. So this is how it looks like it comes in this jar i kind of really love their packaging and the way you know they present their products um and it's it's a it says it's an enzyme treatment and i used it and it's it's physical exfoliant like you can feel it on your skin and i don't think i was wanting this i think i wanted a something like the drunk elephant the baby exfoliant uh, like chemical exfoliant that thing I put it once and my face is just like completely different in the morning. It's amazing. I'm actually probably going to purchase that one. Uh, this was nice. Uh, it was, I think it's nice when you have super dry patches and you can kind of work them in. I live it, I leave it for about five minutes. It says like three minutes, two to three minutes, but I give it at least five minutes to make sure everything is soaked in. And then I wash it off and my skin is really nice. Um, I just am not a huge fan of physical exfoliant. And I wouldn't say that this is intense, but it's more than my uh, Kate Somerville, Somerville physical exfoliant. It really has smoothed my skin when I did use it. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, I purchased this thing right here. This is the J.Lo set. And it's one of you guys that... Uh, you have recommended this to me. I've been talking with this girl back and forth. I feel like we're already friends. Um, and she's like, oh my gosh, you need to check this out. It's It was already on sale and then 20% off on top of that. And I thought I would try it. I haven't tried it yet. I just arrived in the mail the other day, but I'm excited to try it. This is the J.Lo, you get the cream and then her serum. And again, it was on sale already and then another 20% off of that. So I'm excited to try this. Now, when it comes to hair products, I almost never purchase them at Sephora because I am a cosmetology license. I am a hairstylist, so we get better deals privately um, from companies. So um, I almost never purchase things. However, I can't get Briogee on sale or any discounts and I have so much hair care you don't even want to know because I need to try things to use at the salon and sell but this thing I had to purchase it because that mask is absolutely amazing it's it's just smooths my hair it heals my hair it makes it so soft and the smell I would say 50% I buy this for the smell because it just makes my hair smell so good the whole time after I wash it. So if I wash it once a week, it will, I feel like I still smell smell the 
perfume in there. It's so good. And then I bought this one because my husband is struggling with just like some dryness and I never tried that one before. So this was already a good deal. This is a $54 and it's a 78 um, value. So on top of that, 20% off was really nice. So I'm really excited to have this one. One thing that I bought from the Sephora collection is this Daily Clean Refresh. This is a brush cleaner. Um, and the Patty, she's the one that kind of made me want to try this. I haven't opened it. I haven't tried it yet. So I can't tell you if it's good, but she was raving about this one. She said that it's not as um, like uh, drying as the cinema secrets which i use all the time so i'm really interested to see how this works and i got 30 percent off of this like that is a great deal and you definitely get quite a lot like 200 ml that's a great deal and i, I think this one was 15 dollars and then 30 percent off of that one um really nice another set that for the holidays that i got is this one from tatcha um i needed this i ran out of the liquid silk so I really wanted to purchase the big one. And then you also get um, the water cream, just a small one right here. And then you get their liquid, uh, no, I'm sorry, the lip mask. And I heard great things about that. And since winter's coming, it's a great deal. So this is $60 and then 20% off. Um, but this one, I want to say it's $52, $58. So... I thought that was a good deal and I'm excited to try that lip mask. All right, a couple other things that I purchased that uh, were more of a holiday deal. You guys know how much I love this flawless Charlotte Tilbury, the, the, her setting spray, and this was a great deal. You get two small ones, which is nice. I'm like almost running out of the big one. It's actually nice um, to have a smaller one just if you travel. And I thought that was a really good deal. And then I bought this Bite Beauty. This was like on sale for $10. Um, and I got 20% off of that. And this is so good. That's um, a mini mascara, which is just half the size of the original one. And this is the liner, which I actually used today. And it worked so well. It worked so well. It's nice and matte. It was so easy to apply. Um... And it's great. I really like it. I was thinking, oh, I could get uh, the big size, but I would just rather order another one of these. This was $8 after the sale. Um, and I think that's great. I love this. Uh, another set that I got is this one right here. I'll post it here because I don't have it yet. But this is a mascara, like a like a set of mini mascaras. It comes with four mini mascaras and the beauty of this is that you get a voucher inside. So this is $29, it's a value of $57, um, but you also get a voucher in there for uh, a mascara that you wanna use. So if you want the By Beauty, which is my favorite, or the Pat McGrath, or like, the, I never tried the Huda one. I like the Milk one. It smudges on me a little bit, but I use it on my top lashes. You can just take that voucher and get a full size of that. And that is an amazing deal. Like, that is amazing. So that's the one thing I'm still waiting for. But um, that was the other set that I got. All right, so the rest is makeup and perfumes so this is the one that i've already done a review on these are the natasha denona glam face palettes they're back in stock uh, i'm so excited about them i love them this is what i have on my eyes right now I actually combined some of the light some of the dark and i've had a couple people mention that it resembles biba palettes so i wanted to kind of show you guys the comparison. So this is the Biba, which I adore this palette. It's very well loved. And we have the light right here. And I'm gonna try to find dupes. Like Freckle, maybe similar to Crease here. Those two. So this one's Crease, this is Freckle. I don't think they're the same. Those two, that's freckle at the top, crease at the bottom. They're not the same. Crease is definitely a bit more pinky. Let me look up the transition color. Yeah, no, they're not the same. Those, um, okay, let me see another one. Let's take Coco from, uh, from the Biba and 
then smoke. So even these are just, I think the, the, the face palette, it's more pinky undertone. So those are the two colors. That is Coco from Biba and that is a smoke. They are kind of similar, but the undertone is not the same. This one definitely is more of a like pinky undertone and that's just more of a just brown undertone. It's similar enough though. I'm going to swatch Seed as well, which is just a little bit darker that's from the biba so i swatched this one right here and this one right here um let me take the color shine and then take the color outer corner so those are the two shimmers so those are the two shadows from um biba is right up here and then the face glam palette is down there they <laughs> They're similar, but they're not the same. This is more intense. The Biba one right here, which is shine, it's just smoother. Um, and this one's definitely more textury and a bit more pigmented. So they are not the same. They're kind of similar. That's like the only one that I would say reminds me of each other. Like these are the two shimmery one, the inner corner, and then the Monroe from uh, Biba. These are actually pretty similar. So the Biba is at the top, the uh, Glam is at the bottom. I would say the Glam has a whole lot more sparkle to it and it's a little bit more intense. So I try to compare the color crease right here. This is from the dark palette right there. And these are the only ones that are deeper that I could compare it with and it's not the same at all. Again, the color crease has just a little bit more of that burgundy undertone. This right here is the color rayon, um, not the same. This right here is the color cocoa, or no, pasha. Uh, and then the deepest one is seed. I don't, I don't think they're similar at all. They're very different undertones. So that's not the same. Now, the ones that are actually pretty similar is smoke and seed. Honestly, I don't even remember which one. I think smoke is this one down here and seed is right there. So I'm talking about, to th about the deepest browns here. This is smoke right here and this is seed right here. So out of all of them, I would say that those are the closest ones. You definitely probably could tell a big difference on the eyes. So those are the comparisons between that and the Biba. I feel like that was all over the place. Uh, I should have been more prepared, but the colors aren't the same. However, they are similar. Like they give the similar probably look. Uh, I think I could get something similar to that from Biba. Not the exact same, but similar. I wanna compare the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk because somebody said that it reminds me of the, that, uh, the light one. And I was like, ah, I feel like they have similar tones. So this is the comparison. The top one is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This one is the one from Glam, from Natasha Denona. Again, Pillow Talk, Glam. And I think they're similar. You know, they're not the exact undertone, but they are similar. I think you could get a similar look. With the Pillow Talk, you'll get a little bit more pink uh, than this one from Natasha Denona. This tends to be a little pink, but it has more brown undertones. But, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's probably going to give a similar soft look. Uh, they're not, again, exactly the same, but they are similar. I would say that the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk reminds me more of this one than the Biba. I have mentioned in the past that I wanted to get another color of this Laura Mercier powder. This is the Light Catcher. I have the lightest one and I also picked up the Honey Star and today I mixed them both together and that's kind of the highlight that you see mainly. Um, and I really like them. I actually even like this one by itself. It works on my skin tone. I thought it wouldn't, but 
it does a uh, beautiful so i just wanted to pick up another shade of that i got another tower 28 blush this is in magic hour i've been wanting to get this one but at my local sephora they were always sold out and i just never thought of ordering it online and i really like this formula from tower 28 let's swatch it yes I think it's stunning beautiful i think it works with a lot of different looks i haven't tried it on yet but i'm excited another product from tower 28 is this one this is their tinted sunscreen and this right now was just smidge too light this is in the color i think 20 um and it looked a little weird on my face until I kind of blended it all in, took it down my neck to just blend it in. Uh, I just self-tanned last night, so I was really dark today. Uh, I usually am not this way, but I I liked it. I thought on the skin it looked really pretty. On my nose, I felt like it was just a little separated. But again, I just got a self-tanner. I didn't scrub my face or anything. So I, I want to say it's what I have underneath. But I'll wear this a little bit more and let you guys know what I think about it. And then the last three products are the products that I'm most excited about. And these are all Westman Atelier. Uh, I've been wanting to purchase these. I've had them in my love list for a long time and then in my cart. And then I would take them out and put them back. Uh, they're just so expensive. But I love Westman Atelier so much. So I got their super loaded tinted highlighter. And this is in Peau de Peche. It comes like this. This is super heavy. It's stunning. Stunning packaging. However, I have a hard time like opening it. I feel like it's kind of a pain. See? All right. So this is how it looks like. I have used it a few times because I couldn't wait. Uh, the second it arrived here, I just pulled it out and played with it. So this is right there. And this is such an interesting um, product. I don't even know if you can tell much on my hand. It is an extremely like soft highlighter blush topper. That's kind of how I use it uh, because it's a little deep for me to be just an all over highlighter. However, it is stunning. Like right here, I have the um, Laura Mercier but all over I have this one and I think this is what gives that glow flow from within. It has no shimmer in it. It is extremely smooth and I'm just loving it so much. Um, I'm really excited. I'm very tempted to get the pink one, but they're just so expensive. I think I'm just gonna stick with this one and enjoy it. It may be at the next sale purchase the pink one, but I just, I think it's beautiful, it's unique. It's something that I don't have in my collection. Um, just the texture, the formula, and the color. The color is almost like a, a blush topper that's a little bronzy. I like it. And then I also got another blush. I got the Couchette. Couchette, yeah. And then I also got their contour stick. So the Couchette is right here. I'm actually wearing it today. It is the most beautiful pinky peach color. I have Petal as well, and I just love that formula so much that I wanted to get one that's not as cool tone. So this is a beautiful, I would say soft peachy pink. It's not too peach. Some things are super peachy where it's hard to wear, but this is just stunning. I I love this color. I think I like this one better than Petal, but Petal's also beautiful. I'm gonna swatch Petal next to it so you guys can get an idea. And spread it out a little bit so see this has more of that peachy pink and this is just more of that mauvey undertone they're still very beautiful I actually wear petal on my lips many times just beautiful beautiful blushes i do want to eventually own them all but one sale at a time and then the last product is their contour which i am wearing today which i was kind of on the fence i heard a lot of people talking about this saying that it's just too light it blends in and you don't see anything so i was like okay should i get the color biscuit or toffee toffee is the deeper one i almost got the deeper one but i was like i don't like a super intense contour so i went with the color biscuit and I'm so glad I did. This is the color. 
and it does blend into the skin very very well that's the color right there and i'll show you how fast it blends in and it becomes one with the skin see it's actually perfect for me because i don't like a super intense contour i just want just a little bit of shadow just something there to where i don't look flat i don't like to see a line i don't want to people to see that i actually like went on and contoured but there's a shadow there so i actually think this color is amazing for light to light to medium uh and then I, I don't know about the other one how deep it goes and how well it works for deeper skin tones but for me this color actually is perfect i don't think i want a deeper contour color because i like just the tiniest bit this is not supposed to be a bronzer uh so you know this is supposed to be a contour very light blends into the skin you don't even know you have it there but your face is sculpted so I actually love that product. Two more things and they are perfumes. And I have been wanting to try the Tom Ford, this one, I think fabulous. Um, and I don't, it's so expensive. <laughs> I never wanted to purchase a big one, but I heard great things about it. So I got the smallest one. This is 10 ml and it was expensive. So it comes in this beautiful packaging, which looks like luxurious and nice. So you know, at least that much. Uh, and I have been wearing it twice. Now I'm still trying to decide what I think about this. It is super intense. So I just use one spritz uh, because it's a very potent and the packaging is really nice because it's just like, it's very magnetized. That's very satisfying. Um, but I... I don't know if I absolutely love it. I heard so many people talk about this, like it's the best thing in the world. And it's nice. It, initially, I, I was like, okay, that's, that's a lot. Like I smell a little bit like an old lady, but an expensive old lady. <laughs> but once it settles, it becomes a little softer and more elegant. Um, and it's nice. Like it's really nice throughout the day. But on initial, it was a bit much for me. And I find that with most of Tom Ford uh, fragrances, that they're super intense. They're just too much in the beginning. But as you wear them, they mesh with your skin and it, they just are very, very elegant after. It is a deeper scent, just a little bit intense night, night perfume. It's nice, but I just, I'm not convinced yet. I'm, I, I, again, I only wore it twice and I could smell it at the end of the day as well. And I liked it more at the end of the day than when I put it on first. Now the next perfume is one that I've been lusting over for like a year and I just decided to purchase it. And that is Angel's Share by Killian. Now I had not the best experience with Killian perfume. I tried the Love Don't Be Shy and I really didn't like it. It was way too sweet, way too, just too much for me. Uh, I don't like very sweet fragrances i like boozy like woodsy deeper perfumes or like some floral but just soft floral like the Aaron perfumes i love those i think they're so elegant so i purchased this i already wore it last night it's the first time i tried it and this is the packaging um it's supposed to resemble a whiskey or bourbon glass and it does. It's beautiful. I actually adore the packaging. It looks so luxurious. Now, the only thing I don't like is that the top is plastic, like a really heavy plastic, but this is glass. So I wish that was also glass. I think it would feel a little bit more luxurious. And this one, this one, I really, really, really love. I put it on last night when I opened the package and even my husband was like, "Ooh, I can smell that. That smells good. And he can't smell like he cannot smell. It's it's the weirdest thing. I, I have the most sensitive nose and he can't smell at all. I will wear like the Tom Ford intense perfume and he's like, can you put it closer? I, I can't smell it. So the fact that he smelled this is something and he really liked it and I love it i don't have anything like this in my collection it's definitely boozy to me it smells expensive like you're rich and you're also like out at a really fancy bar in the winter that's how it smells for me 
I really like this. I am so excited. I finally purchased it. Uh, I wore it today as well. Like, so I put it on last night just to try it, loved it, put it on today and just, it's just intense, but it's not obnoxiously intense to where like you get sick over the smell. It settles, it settles really well. I am really liking this. So excited. I finally tried it. And that is all I purchased from the Sephora sale. I'm really excited. The Westman Atelier and the perfumes. I think those are the two things that I'm like, really excited i might have gotten something for a future giveaway maybe maybe not you'll have to stay tuned to see that so uh, i would love to hear your thoughts i love to hear what you guys have purchased i'm so nosy i just i just love to know what people are purchasing and what they're interested in so um, leave your comments down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye